welcome to my dear study center our today's topic will be hcf lcm which is part of number system and since our school days we have solved hcf lcm based problem so many times so it is not a new topic for us but for mba entrance exams the question pattern may be different what we used to get in our school days right so very simple thing here we picked up a very simple question of lcm scf from z 2024 there is a common notion that z is tougher than cat so in this video i am trying to show that if we have basic concepts of scf lcm then a z question can also be solved by you okay now very simple thing this is a z question z 24 so first what we will do just read it first thing that we have here is least common multiple least common multiple means what we know that is l c m so it is given that least common multiple of a number and 990 is 6930 so let us assume that number is n so n and 990 the lcm is 6930 next line the greatest common divisor now if we go with this word greatest common divisor it is also known as highest common factor so gcd and acf both are same so what they are saying that greatest common divisor of that number same number and 550 is 110 so that number in and 550 will be 110 now when we want to solve it it is prefer to start from the second part acf means highest common factor so in and 550 so if acf is acf is 110 so we can write down 550 as 110 into 5 now when acf is 110 so n should also have 110 here but apart from 110 whatever more factor n will be having that should not have 5 if 5 will be there in a so our acf will be changed and we don't have any right to change our acf so what we can say a is not a multiple of 5 first part is over now coming to lcm part now if lcm is 6930 let's go with the numbers what is n n is 110 into a and the second number is 990 that is 110 into 9 so what we have in lcm lcm will have highest common factor the common part as well as uncommon part right so if we factorize 6930 what you are getting 6930 means 110 into 63 oh, 
is of observe that whatever we are trying to write, we are writing down as a multiple of 110. So that you need not to factorize 110 further. And in term of 110, if we are able to write all the numbers, our calculations will be easier. Now, 6930 means 110 into 63. So what we can write down here, 110 into 7 into 9. Now, check here. These two numbers also have 110 as common factor. So what we can say, the 110 is here, 110 is here, 110 is here. So this 110 is already here in LCM. So you need not to think on that. Check, we have 9 here in the second number. In our LCM, we also have 9. But we also have 7 in our LCM, which is not coming from second number 990. So obviously, this 7 should come from this A. So what we can write down here, that A has to be multiple of 7. Now go back to the question. Look at the question again. What they are asking for, when this kind of thing will be coming, that multiple of 7 or multiple of something, so there will have certain chances that you have more than one possible number. So now you have to look at the question, what they are exactly asking for. They are asking for the least possible value of that number n. So when we have multiple of 7 here, so least possible multiple of 7, or we can better say smallest possible multiple of 7 will be 7 itself. Now, if we give the value of a 7, so this LCM is satisfied. So what we can say that n minimum should be 110 into 7, that is 770. And they are asking for the sum of the digits, so 7 plus 7 plus 0. The sum is 14, option C. Now check here, if your process will be simple and you are following the basic concepts of SCF LCM, this question can easily be solved in any of the management and transit sums for MBA as well as IPA, right? So very simple thing here, in this particular question, you may have another type of another type of question asked. Here they ask for least possible value. So what we have discussed a little bit earlier, that there we will have possibilities of more such numbers. Now the question is, how many such numbers are possible? This is not asked here, but it may be asked in some different question. Then look at this. What we observe here, the value of A should be multiple of 7 and the least possible value is 7 itself. Now check value of A minimum is 7. Value of A can be 21 also. If value of A is 21, check 110 into 21 and 110 into 9. So 110 is common. 21 means 7 into 3. 9 means 3 into 3. So obviously 7 into 9 will be coming here. And another possibility is 63. So if it is 110 into 63 and it is 110 into 9, so 110 common, 63 and 9. So 63 is obvious choice here. So how many multiples of 7 
can be there in this case. We have three such cases. So if we have this question, how many? Your answer will be three such numbers. So from same data, two questions can be framed. One is asked in Z24. Another is how many such numbers will be possible? So we have three such possible numbers, which will be satisfying all the three conditions. Clear? So if your approach is very much correct, this type of question you can solve in any of the exams. For any doubt, you can call me or text me in WhatsApp in the number 84204-25084 or in YouTube in the comment section, you can write down your doubts. We will surely reply. Thank you.